Classic here. Today we're going to be looking at brand new Disney Princess Little Kingdom Makeup Collection Lip Gloss Sets. As you can see, I have six sets right in front of me. And each set comes with two different figures which contains lip gloss inside. And they're supposed to be deliciously scented. On the bottom of the front packaging, you can see that there's an illustration of the corresponding princess. So in this case, we have Rapunzel. We also have Ariel and Cinderella. I am quite sure they're going to come out with more of these with different princesses. But for now, there are only six in this collection. I actually have all six of them and we're going to be taking a look at all six of them. So without further ado, let's get started! So taking these out look pretty simple. You just have to cut the tape on the side. Here is our first lip gloss. This one is Maximus and obviously he's from the Tangled Collection or Rapunzel. And... <laughs> Just look how stubby and short and cute this character is. They did a wonderful job of sculpting the character. And I'm so sorry Maximus, but I need to open you up. So you just have to twist. And there is your lip gloss. Or actually it looks more like a lip balm though. This one is supposed to be peach scented, but I actually don't smell much of peach. Maybe it'll feel a little different when you put them on your lips. And to put it back on, you just have to simply twist them back and it actually snaps in place which is really nice then here we have Rapunzel's lantern and this one is supposed to be strawberry lip gloss look at the sculpting of this and the paint job is really nicely done I think it's so cute and of course you just have to twist it actually these are a little hard to open in my opinion which I actually like it that way that way you know you do not lose the top easily mmm I'm not so sure if it smells like strawberry, but this one definitely does smell much fruitier than the peach one I just smelled from Maximus. This one actually doesn't snap perfectly, which is actually weird. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Let's do it again. Hmm. Okay, I give up. I tried. It's not snapping in place. Then here we have Pascal. By the way, on the bottom of it, it does not say which scent it is, which I kind of wish that they did, but no. There is no indication of the scent unless you actually remember it. And also, I wanted to point out that there is a writing on the back that indicates when to use this lip gloss by because like all makeup, these have expiration date and you don't want to use something that is really old. In this case, this one is good until the end of March. So here is Pascal. He is really nicely sculpted just like Maximus. And this one is supposed to be mango. Let's see if he smells like mango. Mmm. He smells really fruity, but actually, even though the color is orange, actually, um, it smells kind of very similar to the strawberry one. Or maybe my nose is broken. I don't know. Please snap back in place nicely, please. Yay! This one snaps back really nicely. Here is another Tangled Lantern. As you can see, the colors are reversed for this one. This one had yellow sun and purple background. This one has purple sun and yellow background. And this one is supposed to be blueberry. Ooh, it's purple. I think this one does smell like blueberry. So let's hope that it snaps back in place. Will you? Oh, this one actually does. Yay, maybe I was actually doing this wrong on this one. I, I, I still can't do it. I give up. <laughs> Now we move on to the Little Mermaid collection. This right here is Max. And if you guys don't remember Max, Max is Prince Eric's dog. And he is just so lovable. And look at the pose he is in. He actually has two of his paws up. He's so cute. And he is supposed to be mint scented. Green in here. Mm, honestly, I do not smell any mint. He actually smells pretty similar to peach. Still, I think he's really cute. I'm definitely going to carry these in my purse because I think they're just so stinking cute. And this one actually snaps back in place really nicely too. For the Little Mermaid collection, they come with little shells. This one is a little purple shell with green detailing. As you can see, the sculpting is really nicely done. This one is supposed to be strawberry lip gloss. We already have strawberry. This one was also strawberry too. Come on, open. The shape makes it a bit hard to open for this one. Okay, here is strawberry. I guess this smells the same as the previous one. Let's see if this one snaps back in place nicely. Yep, this one does. And in case if you guys are wondering if these two are the same purple color, no. This one has a little more bluish hue to it. Also from the Little Mermaid collection, we have Sebastian. 
He has a huge smile on his face and he is absolutely adorable. And this one is supposed to be blueberry. We already had another blueberry before, so yeah, I'm not going to smell it, but here he is. Let's see if he snaps too. This one does snap really nicely also. Here's the seashell that came with Sebastian. This one also has reversed colors from the other shell. The details are exactly the same though. However, this one is supposed to be banana scented. So let's see how banana it smells. Mm. In my opinion, it does not smell that banana-y. Smells very similar to peach. And this one, will you snap back in place? This one also snapped back in place very nicely, but I do have to stress that these are a little bit harder to open and to close for little kids. So yeah, you might have to use some of your strength. Moving on to the Cinderella collection, here is an adorable Gus Gus. And he's just so cute, look at his face. Oh, he's so cute, so stinking cute. The paint job on these figures are actually really nice. I am actually really pleasantly surprised. And this one is supposed to be mint scented. I have decapitated him! Oh no! So here is his lip gloss. And he also snapped back really nicely. It might differ from figure to figure, but this one was actually the easiest to snap back. And this right here is Cinderella's pumpkin carriage. All of Cinderella's collection comes with little pumpkin carriage. This one is in pastel blue color. I really like the pastel color that they use on this one. And some of the details are painted in pink. I think this might be a little easier to open. Oh, maybe not. And this one is supposed to be bubble gum. Mmm! That really smells like bubble gum. Oh man, that one smells really good. And snaps back. I don't know if this bird actually had a name in Cinderella movie because it's been a while since I watched the movie. But even on the packaging, it just says bird. All the other characters have their names printed on the packaging, but this one just says bird. So... I don't know, but this bird is really cute. Oh, they did a wonderful job with these figures. And this one is supposed to be strawberry scented also. And finally, we have our last lip gloss, which is Cinderella's Carriage in Pink. Of course, this one has reversed colors from the last one I showed you. And this one is supposed to be vanilla. I don't think we had vanilla before. So let's smell this one too. Mmm, this one does smell like vanilla too. And here it is snapped back. Here are all of the Little Kingdom figure lip glosses I was able to share with you guys today. Out of all of these, my favorite is probably Gus Gus and Max. Which one's your favorite? Please let me know in the comment section below. I really love how these figures are adorable, so even if you're not using them, they will look really cute on your vanity table. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!